What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Hertek coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! We have Candlebox. Yes, indeed. How about that? Candlebox making their debut on the channel. This is a request from Mass Attack 27, and this is actually one of Mass Attack's three prioritized requests from the month of July for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page, so. Here you go, Mass Attack. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Mass Attack wanted to see me write to the song by Candlebox called Steel and Glass. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Beto Bian. Hope I pronounced that right. And the video has 64,530 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Candlebox, steel and glass. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. There you stand with your L.A. tan and your New York wall. And your New York talk Your mother left When you were small But you're gonna wish You wasn't born at Okay, I liked the staggered entrance. I like how everybody came in, you know, starting with the acoustic guitar, and the electric guitar came in, drums started to come in, bass filled in behind it. I like that staggered entrance. That was very effective, very well done. Um, the feel on the song feels good. It, everything feels good. Uh, the groove feels good. It's a little more laid back, which is nice. Um, vocally, I don't know if I like his vocals or not. I'm not sure. Um, there's things I like. I like his power. His power and his projection sound good, but his tone, I'm not a fan of. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Your teeth 
I think that's the chorus where they're doing the steel and glass part. I, I dig that vocally. I like his vocals there, but in the verses, I'm not a fan of the vocals. It's, it's a trade-off. Maybe it's because his approach is a little softer, uh, not, not, quite as, uh, not quite as loud, not quite as intense. When he gets loud, he gets intense, but it sounds good. It sounds good. I dig that. Almost... Uh, it doesn't sound like Robert Plant. I'm not saying he sounds like Robert Plant, but his approach, very much like Robert Plant when he gets loud and aggressive like that. I like that. I like his approach. Um, I mean, everything else sounds fine. Everything else sounds really good. I'm digging everything else. Just the vocals I'm not 100% sold on. Um, let's finish this out. We'll get to the review. Your toilet scent and your Mickey Duck and your Donald Fuck. Your daddy left when you were small, but your Colonel Wish, you wasn't born. Finally, <laughs> uh, they held that a little too long at the end there. If you ask me, it was a little, a little too long. Um, hmm. Interesting. I mean, it sounds good. It, it sounds good. Um, I'm not sure how this one's going to go. If I'm being honest, I, I, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, let me think about it, obviously. Let me get into my thoughts on this, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Candlebox with Steel and Glass. This was a request on Mass Attack 27, and this was actually one of Mass Attack 27's three prioritized requests for the month of July for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Master Tech. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, I thought about this and I came up with a score. I feel good about the score. I'm, I want to be very clear. I don't, I don't, I don't feel bad about this score at all. I, I feel this is the score that this song deserves. Um, but I had to think about it for a while because there was a lot of things I had to take into account. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give that a seven point six. 
Yep, 7.6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, uh, the song. The song itself. Pretty easy song, if I'm being honest. The most complicated part was that walking up with the thirds. The do, 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 ba, da, da. That was the most complicated part of the whole song. The rest of the song, very easy. And we're in A, going down <laughs> literally chromatically. I mean, A to G sharp to G to F sharp to F. <laughs> so it was like, okay, well, there's that. <laughs> So, I mean, it wasn't all that complicated. It wasn't all that complex, but I mean, it was well done. It was a very well done song. As I've always said on this channel, simple can be effective when it's done properly. And this was done pretty properly, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, it, they, they really took one of the simplest riffs you could possibly do, a chromatic riff, and they made it into an entire song. They based an entire song around it. So, I got no issue with that. Um. I loved the intro. I think the intro is probably my favorite part of the entire song with the way they built it. Starting with the acoustic guitar, adding the electric guitar, adding the bass, and then the drums right behind it. You know, just, you know, right there and slowly building up with that built up, staggered entrance. I like that. It was very well done, very well executed. Would not change a thing about it. Um, the drumming through this entire song was one of the highlights for me. I, I loved the drumming on this song. It felt really good. Uh, really laid back in the pocket, really grooving to it, holding it steady the entire time, not taking a whole lot of liberties for things like fills and such, unless they were needed, you know, but never filling just for the sake of filling, always filling with purpose for those transitions. And I dug that. I absolutely dug that. The bass playing too, solid, very solid. Nothing impressive, nothing impressive at all when he was doing with his bass, but rock solid, right locked in with the drummer, super tight, and that's what you want, you know? You want a bass player like that rather than someone who's doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff, a whole bunch of, you know, popping and slapping and stuff. I mean, that's wonderful, it's great, it's great you can do that, but would popping and slapping like that fit the context of this song? Would it fit the feel of this song? Never in a million years. No, I'd, I'd much rather have a bass player who's gonna lock in with the drummer and really know how to sit back in the pocket and groove. Great job. Guitar work in this song was interesting. I, I like the approach that they had with the acoustic playing through the entire song, where they had the electric coming in and they would do like the down strum, you know, and then they would focus more on like feedback or harmonics, you know, and then coming back in with the chord just to emphasize the root chord. But then again, switching to more melodic lines, feedback and harmonics. I like the approach. I like what they did. And the execution was actually really done well too. So I got no issue with that. Vocals. This is where I was really kind of hung up. Um, I want to be very clear. Nothing that he did sounded bad. Nothing that he did sounded out of place. It didn't sound out of tune. Everything sounded like it was executed properly. So I'm not knocking him for his technique. I'm not knocking him for his ability to sing. I'm not knocking him for his ability to sing in key. No, everything like that sounded fine. The one thing I had a gripe with him with, and this is really no fault of his, it's just, it's it's how he is. I'm not the biggest fan of his tone, if I'm being honest. Now, when he went into the loud parts where he was projecting, it was in the choruses, I believe, where he would go up and he would project and he would get strong and powerful. I liked that. I didn't love it, but I liked it a lot more than what I was hearing when he was being soft. When he was being soft, the tone, his vocal tone, I was not a big fan of. Um, and like I said, that's no fault of his. That's just, that's how his voice is, okay? But I gotta take everything into consideration, even things like that. So yes, it did affect the score. Not a lot, but it, it did affect it a little bit. Now listen, very simple song, done well, but a simple song nonetheless. There was really nothing impressive about this song. It sounded really good. I, I dug it, okay? It was a good song. It was a really good song. But I would never go as far as to call this song great or amazing or mind-blowing or even impressive. It was just, it was well done. It was a very well done song of a really good song in itself. So that's how we're coming to the 7.6, okay? Just, like I said, it, it's nothing they did wrong. It's just, it wasn't super amazing and mind-blowing like you know, the, like to get a nine, you gotta you gotta impress me. You know what I mean? 
This song didn't impress me. It didn't. It was a really good song, though, which is why it's getting the 7.6. So, 7.6, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.